Breaking news 2023, Osibanjo, Emefeli campaigning and denying it. Northern Elders declares. Hello, my wonderful people. The news report reaching us is that um, Yemi, Professor Yemi Osibanjo is already carrying out his campaign, but pretending and when you ask him, he will say no, denying it. So this is rather very, you know, very unfortunate, you know. So there are so many things going on and people are wondering, why are you neither here nor there? Uh, Osibanjo has not formally told Nigerians if he's going for the position or not. He has not formally done that. So a lot of persons are a bit confused, yes, with the way things are. They are a bit confused, asking, what next really? What next really? Uh, what, what's, what, where do we go to? Where, where, what's the next you know, line of action? This is what is happening. You see, uh, they say, a northern elder is saying, well, don't be deceived, Nigerians. Uh, Yemi Osibanjo, as well as uh, Godwin Emefeli, they are actually campaigning, uh, campaigning, but denying to everyone that they are not campaigning. Maybe they are waiting for the APC convention to be all over before they make their, you know, their declaration. We don't know. We don't know. So, I mean, this is what is happening now. And um, the Northern Elder is quite very furious, saying, why, why not come out of the bag? Why are you still hiding as if you are doing something illegal or something not right, you see? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Northern Elders declare, Osibanjo, Emefeli campaigning and denying it. Why? She Usani, a former Kaduna Central senator, on Friday identified two eminent Nigerians campaigning for the presidency, but are denying it at the same time. She Usani alleges that the vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, and the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, God Godwin Emefeli, are discriminately campaigning for the presidency. But when asked, they tell everybody they are doing nothing of such. This is rather not fair. If you are campaigning and you want to be campaigned for or voted for, let it be known. Why is it that when you are asked, you pretend as if you are not, but you know exactly what you are doing? It does not show truthfulness. In a tweet, the social political activist wrote, two people are denying and their campaign is going on. The VP, Anime Feli, Central Bank Governor. There have been speculations surrounding Osibanjo running for the 2023 presidency, but he has kept mute up until now. Not a single word has come from his mouth in regards to if he's going for the position or not. But his spokesman, Laulu Akende, dismissed such saying, stating that the vice president will soon declare his stand officially. We know where he's standing, so stop denying. Akinde instead said that his principal is currently committed to his job working for President Muhammad Buhari and ensuring that the administration delivers on his promises to Nigerians, the same promises Nigerians have seen as fraudulent and have not taken them seriously. Similarly, Emefeli has denied again and again his in interest for the presidency, but campaigning all going on. So this is what She Usani has to say. Say, well, campaigning is going on, yet they are lying. So why the lies? You are campaigning, but you are lying. Okay, so who are you lying to? And why are you, why are you lying about the whole thing? Don't deny it. If you are campaigning, then let us know. We are happy to support. We are happy to, you know. Uh, so there's no need to be denying, to making the people look like they don't know what they are saying or they are fools. You see, so this is what is happening. They say, well, our very own vice president, they said he's going for the presidency, although he has, uh, he has not said anything categorically clear to anybody. However, insinuations are that the vice president is going for the number one position and um, is looking forward to it earnestly. So, my dear, this is what is happening. They've told uh, the vice president, they've told Godwin and Mayfield to uh, to stop denying uh, if they are really interested in the in the position and then um, let us know because um, according to Shehu Sani, the campaign is already on. We are aware of it. Uh, all over the place, the vice president has visited almost all the states and wherever he goes to, they keep endorsing him despite the fact that he has not, you know, come out officially to declare his interest to run. 
So this is what is happening right now. And um, people are asking, please clear the air. Clear the air. We want to know exactly what is going on. Are you going for or you are not? Let's get it all crystal clear. Let's understand exactly what the terrain is saying. So we know who, who, who is who. We know exactly what is going on right now. You know, so these are some of the matters reaching us at the moment. Uh, Godwin Emefeli and, um, uh, you know, uh, Vice President Emil Sibanjo seem to be, there seem to be some hanky-panking game there. You know, there, nobody's saying anything. Everybody's just pretending as if uh, the, it does not exist. But again, within, we know what's going on. So come out indeed and tell us where you stand because uh, we know, to a large extent, Nigerians, we know. We know exactly what is happening, so don't give us that uh, uh, may be, may not be story. We don't say. Uh, let's let's get it straight. 2023 elections is around the corner. INEC is preparing. In fact, timetables are coming out here and there. Different things are being done in regards to uh, who is going to become the president. And all things being equal, uh, is one of these people, one of these persons that will eventually become the president of the country if you know election holds and if. You know, it's all come to be is one of these very persons that will become Nigerian's president. Okay, so we need to really understand uh, where this is going. We need to understand it. We don't want people who are not competent, who have not, who are, who are not ready to serve, but are ready to do their own bidding. That's not what we are envisaging. That's not what we are looking forward to. We've we've come a long way. We've come, you know, uh, uh, for a while now. Nigerians have been cheated. Nigerians has been treated, you know, with disdain as if we have no brain. One of the finest set of people in the nations of the world, wherever they go to, they excel. But guess what? In their very own country, they are being blackmailed by the, in quote and unquote, those who said they want to be leaders. And yet they are, they are not leading anything. They are just, you know, swelling their pockets and then uh, making th rounds for themselves. So we really want to understand it. Where do we stand with you? You know, so that's what, uh, you know, uh, our very own brother, Sheo Sani, wants to understand. You're saying you're not campaigning, you're saying this, but I mean, the odds are speaking rather, it's a different language we're hearing from the other side of the of the train. So we want to really understand where we are at with you, okay? So we want to know what exactly is going on. We don't want to be neither here nor there. We want people who are straightforward, we want people who are honest, who are going to be giving us, if they say A, we take their word for what it is. We want to be taking their word for what it is. We don't want to be neither here nor there on this matter. We want to be very serious. We want to be very frank, you know, with this matter and let it go. And then, um, you know, want to really understand what's going on. So this is it. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.